Hey there you guys, back with a home tour. This is going to be in Prosper, Texas, in Winsong Ranch. This is a Shattuck home, the Lakeway model. This is gonna be four bedroom, four and a half bath, a three car garage, about 3,900 square feet. It starts right around $900,000. So as we come on in, greeted by some tall ceilings and a big chandelier. I do like this natural wood banister that they have going on here. But first, we'll take a look at the first level. So right here, off to our left, is going to be the first bedroom here on the first level. I do like this two-tone look. I think it's like this lightish blue. Uh, kept the ceilings white. I like the black windows here in the very front. Usually an upgrade if you want the black windows. Normally what comes standard is like either white or almond. So good size, and then as we approach here, this is gonna be the closet. I don't know why a chair is in here. Very strange place to have in a closet. I would not have my chair in a small closet. And then this actually leads to the bathroom, uh, but that is locked at the moment. But we'll come on here and then uh, we'll enter the bathroom this way. So a nice full bathroom on this first level. I do like the two sconce lights flanking the, the mirror there. I like the shaker cabinets. A nice little center basket weave design there with the tile. And then we'll get into this dining space. I do like the three big windows, lets a lot of light in. And then you have these upgrades here on the right and left of the fireplace, as well as the bricked fireplace as well the exposed shelves there. Take a look at these beautiful wood beams here up top with the two big chandeliers. Also an upgrade, it's like this double wagon wheel kind of look. And then here off to our left is going to be like this bar area. Really sweet. If you do like to entertain a lot of guests and a big wine drinker, very cool to have. I've seen this in a couple of Shattuck homes, actually. So really cool. And then we have big white sliding doors here uh, with the four big windows on top. This is gonna be like uh, your little eating area. And then here are gonna be the Whirlpool appliances, double oven. Then you have the white shaker cabinets and then the cabinets go all the way up, which I do like. It is normally an upgrade to do that, especially with the glass up top, uh, but definitely worth it. Gives it more of that custom feel. So I definitely leave room in the budget to do that. I do like that front apron farmhouse sink. And then taking a look at just the side mounted uh, drawers there. And then we'll come on over here. This is going to be the laundry room. Uh, normally these cabinets are going to be an upgrade. Obviously it does not come with the washer dryer here in Texas. And then you have this little mud space area. Very cool to have. You have the funky tile on the bottom. Then you have this utility sink, also normally an upgrade as well. I do like the floors throughout the, this first level. Then this is going to be the walk-in pantry. A little bit full of a couple things right now. And then this is going to be like a theater room area right off of the kitchen. Interesting place to put it, but this is kind of what they have here. I think it's a two-tone green room here. Uh, pretty cool. See this back was a little bit darker than the side wall. I do like these one panel doors as well. A little more of that like modern farmhouse feel. You have these uh, wooden baskets for your pendant lights, very in right now. Kind of like this woven look. And then right before we get into the primary, we do have this half bath right off of the kitchen as well. Here's the primary, very cool like almost cathedral ceilings here, large chandelier. 
then you have like this framed out back wall. And then take a look at the backyard here. Uh, but you can see kind of the, uh, the framed back wall. Very cool. Very good size primary suite. And then we'll come on in, greeted by a painting. And then these two small double doors. And we'll get into the primary bath. You have a little chandelier in here, the freestanding tub. And then here off to our left is going to be only a vanity. Uh, so you'll see like just the sitting vanity, no sink attached to this one. Then of course, off to our left, you have the first like sink here, and then you have the second sink uh, right behind. But you know, at least they are the same height and the same size, which I do like. Here's the water closet. You have the cabinet up there, which is normally an upgrade if you wanted to have the cabinet above um, the commode. And then you have this first closet. I say first because you'll see over there on the other side, you have another closet uh, right past the shower. Here's a better look at the shower. You have these vertical tiles there. And then in here is gonna be the second closet. Uh, definitely a little bit smaller than that first closet that we just saw but still a good size, especially because you have two of them. And then we'll head on out and we'll start heading upstairs to that area. So we won't be able to go outside. Uh, there is a family, interesting enough, they are eating on the back patio. So we won't do that, but we'll go ahead and we'll head on upstairs. So off this landing here, you do have this nice office space. It is closed and locked up. Uh, this is being used as like the sales office right now. But very cool to have. Again, nice big windows. And then you have the view to the outside. Very nice. And as we come on up, you have this nice tray ceiling with the wooden beams and you have like the upgraded cabinet work here onto our left hand side, pool table sitting area, a really nice place to just hang out upstairs. I like this little kitchenette you have the microwave, dishwasher, the utility sink. And then a quick look down. And then I try to open that door there, but uh, it is indeed locked. So we'll come on here to this little hallway. So off to our left is going to be another bedroom. I love this green color here. I like how in all the model homes, you know, every room is a little bit different, which is really neat. Because definitely it's overwhelming when you go to the design studio. Uh, pretty much it takes so long, you end up just uh, getting almost the same thing in every single room. We have to take your time and do some of the design work, can really be super beautiful. So you have the ensuite bath here. I believe that's uh, all built in, it's like Marlana, that countertop. And then we'll come on over to our next one. So this is going to be like a light pink room. Then you'll notice, you know, in the back left, there's actually a little nook area. So right here is going to be like a small study area. Very nice, right beside the windows. The upgraded chandelier in here. And of course, another ensuite bath. That's also the new in thing. You know, every room gets its own bathroom. with the Marlana countertop here with a built-in sink. And then decent sized closet. Normally you also have the option to upgrade any of uh, like the tubs into just showers if you like. And then over here is going to be 
pretty much a shared bathroom between uh, this last bedroom and also anyone that's uh, upstairs in that game room area. Yeah, this vertical white subway tile. And then here's another two-toned room. It's like light gray with the white on top, uh, like army themed here. So you have like a little tent, some camouflage going on on the bed. But yeah, very neat. I do like how all these doors are also painted as well. So they're not just like, you know, the white doors you normally see throughout the entire home. So it definitely just makes it a little more fun to look at. And then if you enjoyed the walkthrough, please like it. And if you loved it, please sub. Um, if you have any questions at all about any houses in the area, I do have a good realtor in the description below. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.